Hello everyone. In this, I am Ankita. In this video, let's discuss about prepositions. A preposition is a word which is placed before a noun or a pronoun to show the relation in which the person or a thing denoted by the noun stands to something else. For example, the book is on the table. The pen is in the pen stand. The sky is above us. He came with us. Now, let's look into types of prepositions. Under the types of preposition, the first type is preposition of time. The word is at. At is used to indicate when something happens. We use at with clock times. For example, periods of year and periods of day, festivals, etc. But we don't use at with morning, evening, afternoon, etc. For example, the tree left at 8 o'clock. She used to go to temple at Dasara and Diwali. And the following are other examples. The next word is in. In is used to indicate the period of time in which something happens. We use in with centuries, years, seasons, months, periods of the day, morning, evening, afternoon. For example, English literature flourished in 16th century. And other examples are, she was born in 1919. They visited this place in summer. And the following are other examples. The next word is on. On is used with days, dates, birthdays, anniversaries, etc. For example, we went to see a movie on Tuesday. He was born on October 3rd, 1980. We congratulated him on his birthday. We gave him a gift on their 20th marriage anniversary. Note, we use on with morning, afternoon, evening when they are modified. For example, they reached here on a hot afternoon. People did not come out of their houses on a night like this. We went for fishing on a pleasant morning. The next word is during. During is used instead of in with periods of day, months, seasons, years, decades and centuries to express the idea that something continues throughout the whole of the specified period. For example, during the war, many people were killed. We worked during night, sorry, we worked during the day and sleep during the night. And the following are other examples for the word during. With respect to prepositions of time. The next word is by. By is used to indicate the latest time at which an action will be finished. For example, he will finish this work by five o'clock. By that time, the moon was up. In the following are other examples. By can be used instead of during with almost the same. For example, we took rest by day and traveled by night. By mid-afternoon, about 5,000 people had visited the exhibition. The next word is for. For is used with periods of time to indicate how long an action lasts. It is generally used with perfect tense, but 
also used with other tenses. For example, they have lived here for five years. It rained continuously for 12 hours. And the following are other examples. The next word is since. Since is used with a point of time in the past from which some actions began and it continues till the time of speaking. It is generally used with the perfect tense. For example, he has lived here since 1980. Everything has changed since the last summer. And the following are other examples. The next word is from. From indicates the starting point of action in the past or future. It is always used with to or till. For example, they lived here from 1980 till 1990. Or we can say it as they lived here from 1980 until 1990. And the next example is, we worked from morning to evening. Or we can also say it as, we worked from morning till evening. The following are other examples. The next word, till or until. Till and until are used to show something happening or done up to a particular point in time and then stopping. For example, he is expected to be here till the end of the week. Or we can also say it as he is ex accepted to be here until the end of the week. The next example, I was employed by the company until 1980. You will have to wait until my return. The next words are before and after. The preposition before and after are used to rel relate events to a particular time. Before means earlier than after means later than something. For example, I get up before six. She returned before Monday. They come here after eight o'clock. We went to Paris four years after our marriage. And the next type of preposition is prepositions of place. The word at. At is used to show the exact point. For example, houses, stations, small villages, or towns. The examples are, they lived at Gohana, a small town in Haryana. He was born at his village, Shailmar. The Prime Minister lives at 10 Downing Street and other other examples. The next word is in. In is generally used when the reference is not to any specific place or to the names of large cities, century, uh, countries, continents, etc. The examples are many people in India live in villages. They used to live in Bang Bengaluru. The Indians live in India. They lived in Europe for 10 years. The next word, on. On is used to indicate a particular area of land or place where something is. For example, he spent a few days on an island. He worked on a farm for some time and Following are other examples. The next type comes 
prepositions of direction. The first word among um, uh, below that comes from. From is used with the starting point or a point of departure from a place or the point of origin. For example, they came here, they came from China. We started from Chennai. The train from Kolkata has arrived. And the following are other examples. The next word is off. Off means from the surface of and and also down from. For example, he took the hat off the table. The boy fell off the tree or off the root. And the other are the exam other examples. The next word is out of. Out of means from the interior of something. For example, he went out of room. The bird flew out of the cage. And the following are other examples. The next type comes direction towards. Under that comes the word for. For is used to show direction only when the verb indicates the beginning of movement. For example, she left for Japan early in the morning. We set off for New York. They left for home late at night. The next word is against. Against means to have contact or pressure. For example, sorry, against means to have contact or pressure. For example, the child threw the ball against the wall. The crowd pressed against the door. And the following are other examples. The next word is to. To is used for a destination or the end point. For example, he went from Delhi to Ambala. She is coming to India as a tourist. The train started from Kolkata and came to Delhi. And the following are other examples. The next word is towards. Towards is used to indicate the direction of something. For example, they went towards the airport. He was speeding towards the town. The train was coming towards the stations. And the following are other examples. The next type comes preposition of position. Under that, the first word is under. Under is used to indicate a position that is below or beneath something. It means vertically below. For example, the dog was under the table. He looked under the bed. They took shelter under the trees. The water flows under the bridge. The next word is underneath. Underneath has the same meaning as under. It means a position below something. For example, she found a lot of dust underneath the carpet. The coin rolled underneath the table. The following are other examples. And here, underneath generally implies covered by something so that the object covered is not seen. The next comes below and beneath. Below means in a position lower than something. For example, they could see the village below them. The lake is 500 feet below the sea level. The following are other examples. Beneath also means a lower position than something. For example, they found the body beneath a pile of grass. The boat 
sank beneath the waves. Beneath has a sense of directly under something. The next word is over. Over is used to indicate a position vertically above something or somebody or partly or completely covering the surface of something. For example, she hugged the calendar over the fireplace. There were books all over the table. They held a large umbrella over here. There was a lamp or oh, there was a lamp over the table. And the next word is above. Above is used to indicate a position higher than something. For example, there were clouds above us. The water came above our knee. The pilot was flying above the clouds. And the following are other examples for the word above. The next type of preposition is prepositions of travel and movement. First word is across. Across is used to indicate movement from one side of place area, the, the line to the other side. For example, I walk across the road. The cat ran across the lawn. They flew across the specific. He walked across the street. The second is along. Along is used to indicate movement from one end to or towards the other end of something. The place is as a line. We walked along the street. She went along the corridor. He hurried along the path towards me. The next word is on to. Sorry, into. Into is used to indicate movement inside a place seen as a volume. The position of into is out of. It is used for entering a place, building, vehicle, etc. Example, the boys came into the hall. She ran into the house. In the following are other examples. And the next word comes on to. On to is used to indicate movement into a position on an object or surface. For example, she climbed onto the roof. The cat jumped onto the table. And the following are other examples. The next word is through. Through is used to indicate movement from one end of an opening or a passage to the other. The places in is seen as a volume. For example, the train passed through tunnel. The water flows through the flows through this pipe. And the following are other examples. The next word is up and down. Up is used to indicate movement to higher position and down to a lower position. For example, he climbed up the hill. The girl ran up the stairs. The following are other examples. The next word on, in, by. We may use on, in or by while using a public or a private vehicle. On is used when the vehicle is seen as a surface. In is used when it is seen as a volume. By is used to indicate the means of travel. For example, we traveled on the horseback or foot 
or a cycle or a bus or a plane they traveled by bus or car or train or cycle or sea or plane or air we traveled in a bus or a car or a train or a ship or a plane the next comes between and among between is used with two persons or things among is used with more than two people or things for example between you and me she is very stupid she divided the apples between the two children c comes between b and d he lives in a house among the trees she divided the money among four sons but if each individual person is mentioned between is used even if there are more than two for example the money was divided be up between mohan sohan and rohan if the people are mentioned as a single group among us used i shared out the food among the family the girl quickly disappeared among the crowd the next comes by and beside by means close to someone or something beside means by the side of someone or something both imply nearness for example she was sitting by the door there is a glass just by our elbow the telephone is by the window she was sitting beside her mother he always kept a dictionary beside him and next we'll look into the prepositions that often confused sometimes preposition have subtle difference in application look at some of the cases below since and for since is used to denote a point of time for example peter has been in this institute since 2010 and the same way for conveys the sense Ten, a sense of a period of time for example peter has been in this institute for 3 years by and with by is used before an agent for example the car was cleaned by the rancho with with is used for a instrument for example the car was clean by with a wiper the next words are beside besides beside means by the side of where as besides means over and above for example Such suchitra sat beside harsh besides harsh suchitra was also there between and among between is used for two person or things for example the school building stands between the herbarium and the la laboratory between is also used to relate more than two objects if there is Def, definite definite number for example india lies between bangladesh bhutan nepal and pakistan among is used for more than two person or thing for example distribute the money among five boys however in modern usages between can also be used to indicate something happening between more than two persons for example the money was divided between five boys 
and this was all about prepositions thank you